What you doing, Austin? I'm trying to shove this strap in there and it can't do it. Oh, in behind your trim pouch? Yeah. So what you need is you actually need a trim pouch that's got Velcro on the outside. All right. Kind of like this top one right here. So let me ask you a quick question. You got two of these top ones that's got Velcro, right? Mm -hmm. Why not just put this one that's got Velcro on the bottom and put your other Mares one right here? That's a good idea. That would work, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna try. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now I wanna introduce you to Mr. Austin real quick. Austin's one of our relatively new divers here. Just got his dry suit, sir. Everybody say congrats, Austin. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so Austin's back plate and wing, he has opted to go with several different trim pouches here on the back. And when we installed these for him, he kind of wanted them to be symmetrical. So as you can see, he's got a Marius trim pouch here. He's also got a Marius trim pouch here. And then up top, we went with the XS Scuba. Now, one of the reasons we did that was, well, we were kind of out of stock with the Marius patches at the time. But the other reason that we did that, of course, was so that he could Velcro the strap down. If we pay close attention to what it looks like here, you'll see that this trim pouch here, there's no way to Velcro that strap over the top, and you've actually got to thread that strap in behind. Well, this can be very difficult, especially with the hook and loop Velcro, to actually do that. So that's where these excess scuba pouches really come in to play here, because you can actually Velcro directly to the pouch. And of course, you'd want to do that so you didn't have an entanglement. But don't let your OCD get you when you install these things. Since we've installed both of them up top, just like this, we're actually going to uninstall this one and move it because you don't really need to Velcro over here on your right-hand side because the strap's not coming this way. So all we're gonna do is take this top one here and we're gonna put it where this Marius pouch is. We're gonna take this Marius pouch and put it up there. That way Austin can still have all four of his trim pouches to get trimmed out when he's in the water or to add a couple extra pounds when, of course, he's in his dry suit. So how's that working, Austin? Works a whole lot better. Whole lot better, absolutely. And both your straps are nice and secure now. You don't have any type of entanglements. And you don't have to sit there and struggle with getting that strap behind the pouch, do you? No, it just fits right over. Fits right over. Look at that. Top one's Velcroed, the bottom one's Velcroed. No entanglements whatsoever. And he still has his trims over here. Worked out a lot better. So there you go, guys. Be innovative. When you buy gear like that, realize there's more than one way to skin a cat. You can still have your little OCD issue where you've got to have the weights just perfect, but at the same time, put those Velcro pouches on the right side. They don't both have to be on the top with your two clip pouches on the bottom. Change them around to where it actually works for you and it's practical. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's a cool little scuba tip that helps you out in the future as well. If you're having trouble trying to stuff your cam strap up in there or the excess, get you some Velcro patches from Excess Scuba. As a matter of fact, if you're interested in those pouches, check out the description down below. I'll put you a link where you can actually purchase them for you as well. They work great for back mount. They even work even better for side mount as well. But guys, that's going to be it for today. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to help you out the best I can. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.